Well, you're at a match and you're looking through that scope and that reticle is moving all over the place. That buzzer went off, your adrenaline's uh, rushing and you can't get stable. Hi everyone, it's the Four Gun Guy. And I just shot a 22 match out here today and uh, I did not really well. I cleaned one stage. In fact, this was the stage I cleaned the barricade, uh, but I had some not just some just not good stages. It was very windy, uh, but a lot of it was just, you know, me, the nerves and all that stuff. But one thing I did do is I used a tripod. Now, the first time I heard that term, I thought, use a tripod, well, but don't you have to have the rifle on the, on the, uh, the prop? Uh, how can I take my rifle and then shoot it off my tripod? Uh, that's, that's not fair, right? That's not right. Yeah, I was stupid. I didn't realize that what they really meant was use the tripod to stabilize your position. So you may be sitting here with a pretty good tripod. A lot of these guys have the real, you know, Leofrodo and all that stuff. I just have this Interrel uh, with my Leupold uh, spotting scope on it. But you may be missing out on a way to really stabilize yourself on certain certain stages, not every stage, but certain stages. Uh, I'm going to talk to you today about when you should or could, could use a tripod, when you might not want to use a tripod, and then we're going to go through using it. So I'm going to show you how I would use it on a stage like this, uh, and then we'll just uh, have some final thoughts. So if you're ready to go, let's get to it. Uh, ask at the match before you just take your spotting scope off and drag that tripod up to a stage and start shooting with it. Because in, like on our matches, on some specific stages, they may say no tripods are allowed. So make sure that you can use it. Uh, I did ask today in front of everybody. Uh, the match director said, yep, you can use a tripod on any stage you want to. So it was, it was clear to do so. Um, so yeah, that's a, you know, that's the story. Let's get into how you might use this thing now. Well, let's talk about why we might want to use a tripod. Now, today I shot the PRS barricade here and <clears throat> the way I've got the rifle set up is I've got my gray ops plate with a bag underneath it, an Armageddon bag. And then I've got my homemade stop here and uh, this is attached to the gray ops plate. Now I built this stop because I don't like loading into a barricade or into a bag with my magazine. I don't like that. So I, I made this plate. So let's think about this. If I look at this rifle right here, it's balanced, right? It's balancing right perfectly here. And if I get down on this, I can get down in my position. I can chamber and I can fire and I'm fine. I'm, I'm stable. So this is one option to, to do this. The other option is to use a tripod. And I could move this plate way out and then I can bring the tripod in and I can use it to stabilize my rifle. So when I do that, I'm just using one of the legs, bringing it around. I'm using my hand as a support and then I'm just doing this. Now, the beauty of this is once I get this set, then as I run my bolt, I don't have to worry about anything moving. I'm, you know, when I'm up here and it's balanced, like I was showing you, sometimes you get jumpy, the buzzer goes off, you get a little jumpy. With this, I have firmly have this butt against the tripod. It's already supported up front. And now all I have to do is get down on the rifle and pull the trigger. Now there's some things you have to think about when you do this, right? If you're going to run a bag that's not attached to your, to your ARCA rail, then you've got other things to worry about or think about. For example, when you start a stage, everything has to be in your hand. So if I were to start this stage like this, everything has to be off the ground and in my hand. So when I start, the buzzer goes off, I drop the tripod, 
get my rifle aiming at the target, bring my arm around, come on down, and right now I'm on target. So that took five seconds. If I don't have this type of a setup with this bag, then I'm, I'm using a bag to do that. And let's, let's go ahead and see how that might look. Well, here we are without the bag on the plate. So now I've just got the plate. I still need a bag, so I would hold the bag in my hand. Now, the way I'd set up for this then is I'd have the bag here. I bring the bag underneath the tripod and lift it up. And when the buzzer goes off, I drop the tripod. I set the bag, set the rifle, Bring the tripod over, and again, right now I'm on target. So again, I've set my position. I'm building into the bag just like you would in, in your big rifle. And now I'm set and I can shoot. When I move, it's a little different story, but it's not that different. I'm gonna grab the rifle, I'm gonna grab the bag, move the bag, set the rifle, grab the tripod, bring it over and now I'm back down on my target and I am on target right now so I'm ready to shoot so if you coordinate things uh, you'll get very used to doing this now when we start getting down near the bottom here it's the same thing so let's let me let me pause the camera and then I'll set the camera up so we can get a shot at that so this would be how this would look right I'm gonna place the rifle I'm gonna get down, I'd probably get down on both knees here. I'm gonna bring in the tripod. And again, guys, this is just to show you in this specific stage, I may not even use a tripod, but I'm on target and now I'm good to go. Let's, uh, let me get a shot on the hands and how this, how I'm using the tripod uh, to stabilize things. Okay, again, I wanna show you this. So basically, again, I'm setting the rifle I'm bringing my left hand over. I'm just letting it, letting the rifle rest on it. It helps if you have like one of these bag riders that I have for the MDT ACC chassis. I love this thing uh, because it gives me a lot of area to work with. But again, making sure the rifle's pointed at the target. I'm coming around, I'm down on the rifle. And now it's just a matter of adjusting my hand up and down this, the uh, tripod leg and I'm on target. I mean. And if you want even more, you could wrap your, see how my, I have my thumb here now. So you can do that as well. And that will really stabilize you. But the point is you don't need that. All you need, you're just creating this back base for the back of this rifle to, uh, to, to sit on. And that's it. Some guys run, the, run it like this. Again, with the plate back here, other people will run it with the plate way up. And it depends on, you know, the, uh, it really depends on the, uh, what you're shooting off of. Like this is the PRS barricade, but look, uh, if that was the case, I'm way back here and now I'm real, I'm real stable on this thing. I mean, I'm very stable. Uh, let's look at a couple other, uh, platforms, uh, that we could set up, set this up on. All right, well, let's run through a stage. Uh, I've got a target out there. I think it's at, uh, it's only at 78 yards. I've got my dope uh, dialed in. It's a little windy, but let's just see how this might work in a match. So I've got my bag, lifting up my, my tripod, buzzer goes off gun, drop the tripod, set the bag, set the rifle, down on my knees, coming in, I've got the target right now. Impact. Impact. Rifle. 
bag, rifle, tripod, aiming at the target, down on the target, and I'm on target now. Impact, impact, rifle, bag, rifle. In these stages, they're making you shoot from five different positions. I'm on target. Right, impact, impact. It's a two minute time frame, timeline. But remember, once you get into this, once you get into doing this, impact, impact. I wish I could have another camera on the, <laughs> it's a little Sasquatch target. And it's, uh, I want to say it's uh, about three inches. That was a miss because I'm talking. That was a miss because the wind died and I had wind dialed in. But uh, mag is out, the bolt is back. But it's about a three inch little target down there, Sasquatch target. Um, but look, that's basically how you'd run that. Um, so yeah. All right, well, here we are at tires. Now on this stage, we had to shoot from five different positions on these tires. So I actually did use the uh, uh, tripod for that. So let's, uh, let's look how that would work. And if you notice, I don't have the bear the stop on the plate. I don't have the bag on the plate. And the reason for that is I wanna make sure that I get enough elevation with the bag so that the magazine doesn't impact the tire. I watched, uh, I saw some people shoot from way out here, which is fine. And again, you don't need to use a tripod on this, right? You could just come down here. You could get in your kneeling position, build your position, and that would be fine, right? And this is, this is fine. I'm a little, I'm a little around the target with this because I'm, I'm still not totally stable. Now I could bring the bag here, bring this here, and now what do I have? I have my elbow on my knee and I can run the bolt, but here's what happens when I do that. When I run the bolt, I'm having to come back down here and then I'm having to reacquire the target, okay? That's why I'm saying if we start with the tripod, if they let you use one. And I start with it, the buzzer goes off, the wind just kicked up, so I'll probably have some misses here. I drop the gun, I come in, I'm immediately on target, I mean, I'm on it. And, impact, impact. I don't have to worry about building a position. There was one position. Here's the second position. I'm on it. I don't have to worry about impact. My uh, elbow on my knee, although it is on there. Impact. Third position. Remember, I'm always aiming that rifle where the target is. Impact. Oh, impact. That target is at a 45 degree angle now. <laughs> I think this is the fourth position. I think. I'm trying to keep track of all this stuff. And shoot a video. Impact. Impact. Nope, I have two more. There we go. Gun. Aiming at the target. Coming down. I'm on it. Impact. Impact. <laughs> okay, I'm laughing because I just cleaned that stage. But in the match today, I think I got a seven here, so I missed three using the tripod. 
I tell you what, let's do it without the uh, let's do it without the tripod. And this time I think I've got the video on it. I hope I do. And let's go ahead and see how we would do. So we're gonna go gun. I would probably come down here. I'm on my knees. Good. Down. Impact. Impact. Next position. I don't even know that I would get up, to be honest with you. Let's see here. On my knee. Impact. Impact. Next position. There's his three. Hope you're seeing it. That's a miss. I rushed it. Impact. Here's the other thing I'm finding. That miss I just made, it's because I was very tense. I'm, I was holding this rifle very strongly. And in this 22, I have to realize, impact. Impact. That it's not holding the rifle strongly like it is my 6.5 Creedmoor. It's really just holding the rifle kind of delicately, to be honest with you. Kind of delicately. Ooh, I think, see how it's turned? I don't know if you can see in a video, but impact. And that, that target's like, it should be facing us and it's, it's kind of turned. So anyway, that was what, nine out of 10? Um, and I got nine out of 10 with the tri tripod. So look, I just wanted to show this to you because uh, mag is out, bolt is back. I did use the tripod a lot today. And for me, it made a difference. Uh, I used it last week in my PRS match and it made a big difference. Uh, I scored the best I've scored in PRS, which for most people isn't great, but for me, it felt fantastic. Uh, and I used the tripod last week, probably on four stages out of 10. This week I used it on four stages out of 10 as well. So it really does help you in the, on the right stage, the right prop. So you have to just decide when you might want to use it. Um, so yeah, there you go. Hey, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one. I wanted to kind of keep it short. The rifle is unloaded, as you can see, but I just wanted to keep this one short. And as I said, I just shot a match. So I wanted to just get this while I was out here and everyone's gone now. There were about 130 people here, but now they're all gone. Uh, just wanted to get this out there. So, hey, thanks again for watching everybody. I don't know why I'm looking at the monitor instead of the lens, sorry. <laughs> It's just a long day uh, up at five o'clock. So uh, appreciate everything, all the likes, the uh, comments, the subscriptions. And until next time, shoot straight.